says, I think Whoopi asks him this. Asks him, no, no, it's it's Sonny. Sonny Hostin, who I think is Oz's favorite. Um, transitions to get De Niro's opinion on Trump. I have criticized you because you've been pretty open about your dislike for Mr. Trump and the danger. You once famously said you'd like to punch him in the face. Um, uh, but right now, he's leading in the polls in five battleground we'll states. Fight, Jake Any Paul. advice to the Biden campaign or the voters? What are, what are you thinking? Well, I think um, I, I don't understand why people are not taking him seriously mm. uh, because you, you read about it. Just that, by the way, he doesn't understand why people are not taking him seriously. Folks, Trump had not been taken seriously by the media for a long time. Do you remember back in the early days? And I'm playing this because, again, this this is just sort of simmering. I mean, we are moving headlong into this election. This is going to be lit, as, as they say today. This is going to be off the hook, as we used to say in my day. This This is going to be an intense election period, and not just an election period. If Trump wins, this is going to continue for four years. He even he even alludes to this in his uh, in his delusional remarks here. But he's asking, he he's he's uh, wondering why people are not taking Trump seriously. But I remember when Ann Coulter was on Bill Maher back in 2000 and. It must have been 15, but because it was before Trump had won the primary. She had said, Ann Coulter had said, she was asked who the Republican nominee for president was going to be, and she said it's going to be Donald Trump. She was mocked and laughed at and ridiculed and made fun of, and that was the strategy. And then even today, even today, I've got people who say the guy wasn't serious. This guy's just all about his massive ego. He's trying to sell books, improve his brand. Nothing he should, nothing he says should be taken seriously. Some people say that, but yet De Niro's out here pontificating, postulating why Trump is not taken seriously. Now you got to pick, you got to pick here. Is he to be taken seriously or is he not? See, I think he, I think he should be taken seriously. I think that he intends to do. I, I agree with De Niro and. and to a point here, Trump intends to do precisely what he's talking about. It's just what he's actually talking about are policy ideas that drive the left insane. It's not that he's talking about being a dictator for life. This is completely absurd and ridiculous, but that's the narrative. De Niro's saying, look, this guy's telling us he's going to be a dictator for life. Here he is, De Niro. Historically in other countries that they didn't take the people seriously. I think Hitler, Mussolini, Hitler. they're there fools and clowns. Well, there will be, and I hear it, there's some people, I mean, who, who does not think that this guy is gonna do exactly what he says he's gonna do? Right. He's done it already. Right. He's done it already, he's done it already, then why is he not in the, in the White House, Robert De Niro? If he's going to be a dictator for life, then why is he not in the White House today? You know, the narrative is that Trump intended on January 6, 2021, to overthrow the government, to establish himself as the, the leader of the coup d'etat, I guess, the benevolent dictator, much like the benevolent, benevolent dictator you have here on this program, but for the as president of the country, lifetime king, King Trump. That was the narrative. Of course, it's ridiculous, absurd. It's not. It's not based in reality whatsoever. But yet, this narrative gets applause from these knuckleheads and clowns in the audience here of the View, comparing Trump to none other than Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini. <laughs> I just, it's so so stupid.